Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about a very exciting set of maps. These are outline maps. There's a lot of neat things you can do with these outline maps, especially nowadays when you're teaching online, you parents out there, you educators out there. What is, what is a way to combine spatial thinking and some tactile work? Coloring, for example. Ah, let's explore that. So a couple of colleagues, really smart colleagues of mine up at ESRI, they created these outline maps. And you can look at this link to find out more. One of the things that they did is they created a 24-page PDF of these outline maps that you can actually download and color. And you can also use them as, hey, what country is this? What country is this? At a local scale, wow, you've got all kinds. What is this, an estuary? Was that a wetland? Is that a railroad track? Uh, what is the layout of these cities and how do these cities grow and change? So this 24-page document, you can certainly print these. It's got examples of places in all major continents, even a university campus. So that's exciting. That's one thing I wanted to share. You can go ahead and print these and then color them and use them for quizzes and foster spatial thinking and geographic thinking. But another thing you can do with these outline maps is you can actually open them in a variety of tools that ESRI offers. The online map viewer, ArcGIS Online, you could also open them up in ArcGIS Pro, for example, and customize the legend, the scale, and so on. Let's just go ahead and keep it simple and open it in the online map viewer, shall we? Because, yes, this 24-page document exists, but you can also customize it for your own area. So, for example, if I wanted to... What if I wanted to find the Geofort? Ah, here it is. I was there. It's a, it's a fascinating place. I'm going to add that to map notes. Where it's built on an actual old fort, and they offer field trips. And you can learn about history and geography and mapping and geo games and other things wow this is great so i could print this right now and color it so for example i could hit the print i could say map with legend and then this box is the thing that i would actually print and then i could color and identify landmarks i could add things to it okay but what about some other cool places around the planet what about the royal observatory let's go ahead and find that Ooh another place of geographic significance okay so there's the royal observatory it's in this beautiful park here what if i wanted to change the base map well this gets away a, a little bit from the coloring but you could look at the base map and see the actual dome and you can see the the line that people stand on so they can stand on the prime meridian right here that's kind of bending off this in this direction and but I couldn't really color that very effectively. What if I changed it to something like a modern antique map? I'm getting into maps that I can maybe color a little bit more. But really, the, the one that I want is that outline map. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and get back to the outline map that I talked about earlier. And then go ahead and search for the Royal Observatory. And there I am. And then I could print and say map with legend. And then I'm going to print that. There's a couple of other places that I'm really fond of that I'm going to go ahead and search for. And one of those is Palisade, Colorado. Fascinating Western Colorado terrain. I could zoom and pan and get some additional detail. Maybe I want to print that. I could actually color in the buildings. Maybe I, if I had a field trip to the, the community, I could color the buildings with different colors based on their if they're commercial industrial or residential all kinds of things I could do here I could pan over here to these cliffs north of town ah yep and I could look at some trails some rivers etc so different scales I could teach about scale I could teach about land use land cover I could teach about building type settlement of cities in this case, why are these communities clustered along the river? All kinds of things. But circling back to our original intention, yes, I can also use these for coloring. So those are the outline maps inside ArcGIS Online. Go forth and enjoy. Is adult coloring still a thing? Hey, don't limit this to kids. You adults out there, you color these maps also. It might reduce some stress, get you thinking spatially, get you using some tactile objects, colored pencils, crayons, paints even. Thanks.